Hello and welcome to the Combustion Therapy Channel. Is your Honda Fit hard to defrost in the winter months? Maybe you have a lot of condensation on warmer days? Often finding more water in your trunk than an Olympic swimming pool? Leaving yourself wondering where it's coming from? This issue can extend as far as the rear floor pan area, which thankfully is recessed. It's caused by a split in the seam sealant above your roof liner, and in today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you how to remedy this issue. Figuring out where all this water is coming from is as simple as finding the splits in the seam sealant and filling them in with a sealant of your choice. In today's episode, I'll be using E6000. This is my first time using this product, and I'm hoping it's gonna be suitable for the application. While possible that a true seam sealer like a 3M product might have been better for the job at hand, this is what I had and it's what we'll be using today. I've identified a crack at the beginning of each channel on the sides of my roof. I'll be showing you how to remove these trim pieces, which is as simple as popping the clips on each end, pushing them forward. You don't need to take these all the way off. The cracks generally end a few inches from the beginning of the channel. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. This one is much larger, and I think this is where the majority of my water is coming from. These channeled areas have been a place of concern on each of the four Honda GD3 fits that I have owned. Sealing them up almost certainly stops the leak each time, sometimes having to go a little further, ensuring that things are sealed up on the inside of things as well. This would involve removing all of the interior pieces, and not something that we'll be covering in today's tutorial since not always necessary. With the cracks in our seam sealer identified, we can go ahead, give the channel a quick clean with a damp cloth, giving it some time to dry before applying our product. Using an artist brush, we can fill the channel and slowly brush the cracks. Our E6000 product seems quite suitable for the application. I like the fact that it's clear, so in case you go astray it won't be too noticeable, and it's quite thick staying in place. You could even go over it twice if you like, but I would definitely make sure that you can fit your trim piece back inside the channel before this stuff dries. Things can get a little more difficult here on the driver's side since we've got to reach around this wiring. It is, however, possible with the use of our artist brush and a little reaching. With good coverage on both sides, we can reseat our trim pieces and hope for the best. With our trim back in place, it's hard to tell that anyone's ever been in here. Especially with the use of this clear sealant, which I'm hoping works quite well over a long duration. Thank you for watching today's combustion therapy video. I hope this was in some way helpful and stops the leak in your Honda Fit. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like the video if you in any way found this useful.